If you want to turn your gameplay from this all the way to this, then follow these steps I'll be showing you in today's video. This is going to help you remove all input delay in Fortnite on all consoles. So if you want to remove input delay on PlayStation for keyboard and mouse, so go to settings and then go to devices and then from there go to mouse and make sure the pointer speed is fast. Do whatever your hand, like your dominant hand is. Uh, if you're left-handed then make it left, if you're right-handed then make it right, but just make sure the pointer speed is on fast. Now go to external keyboard and make sure the key repeat delay is short and the key repeat rate is fast. Now this will basically allow you to have less input on when you're clicking your keys for the game to register that like you're actually clicking the keys and this will allow you to be a lot more faster when editing in Fortnite. Okay so now for Xbox now I don't actually have an Xbox so I'm gonna have to try find photos online but you go to settings and then devices and connections and then mouse and then make sure the pointer speed is on 10. Now I don't know if there's a way of doing something for keyboard on Xbox. I did a bit of research and I couldn't find anything. I could only find the mouse thing so the mouse thing is all I can really help with but that should still overall make your gameplay a lot better now from here once you've done whatever console you have go to your fortnite settings now what you want to do is make sure you're on 120 fps if you're not on 120 fps then i suggest you change it if you don't know how to do that on ps5 just go to settings and then save data and game app settings and then go to game presets and then performance mode or resolution mode and that should be set to performance mode then restart fortnite and go to settings and then turn on 120 fps now from here i recommend you go down to motion blur make sure this is off and go down to report performance stats and make sure that is off as well now go over to game settings and make sure your replays are off now if you use replays then you can keep them on if you don't i recommend you turn them off because they're just in the background taking up input delay now these are all the settings that i recommend you guys change if you guys did find this video helpful dropping a like and subscribing would be greatly appreciated i'm almost at 3k and if you guys could get me there in the next two weeks or so that would be insane also if you guys have any video ideas that you guys want or just any tutorials that you guys want or need comment down in the comment section below and i'll try post a video about that as soon as possible anyways that's it for the video bye